I'm here with Carl Sr. from Slob City Charters and we have an incredible story to tell you. I was on the beach fishing for black tip sharks and I was flying the drone. I found some cobia sitting on bull sharks. So I called Carl and told him, dude, you got to get here. There's bull sharks, there's cobia, there's tons of fish on the beach. So his charter moved from where they were offshore, came to the beach and they, they got on the cobia. The first cobia, they missed it. The second cobia, the bull shark, absolutely lost his mind. Watch this video. The shark attacked the boat four times, then he went away, just as we thought it was over, and just, you guys must have thought it was over on the boat, he yeah. came right back again and started hammering the boat. In the video, you can see that the bull shark's at the front of the boat. You guys drive over top of it, and then he does a big circle, comes back, and he comes straight to the boat. What was it like when he when he first grabbed your engine and started shaking the boat? I, I thought my dad backed into a reef because I seen a huge, I seen white water uh, behind the boat, and I didn't think a shark could actually shake the boat like that. The boat was shaking like a, a bag of popcorn, like literally. I was like shaking like an earthquake. I was like, what what's going on? I went back there, and then I noticed it was the shark doing it. I'm like, are you kidding me? This is like a ride from Universal Studios. We're thinking, you know, maybe he grabbed the propeller. We weren't expecting the damage that we had when we got back to the dock, and it was just astronomical. The whole middle of the engine is completely ripped out. The trim tab's broken. All said and done, it's gonna cost me about 800 bucks. All right, so you just press this play button. Steven is a shark expert, guys. He knows everything there is to know about sharks. Scientist, and he's gonna tell right. you his reaction. This is a raw reaction. He is not, neither of these guys have seen this video yet. Ready? Here we go. What are we looking at here? Oh, cool. <laughs> See that? wow. That's incredible. That's I, I was great. thinking, what did my dad run a reef or something? Where we hit? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that insane? Nailed it. Wow, that's, awesome. that's insane. What do you think he's thinking? Bang, he's nailing it. Ah, cool. So, three three hits in a row. What it, what it, oh, is he coming back yes. again? Of course, the cobia is on that I missed. Oh, is that cobia? Yeah. Is this your boat? Yes. Oh, cool. Look at him. Do you have chum in the water? No. No? No. Nothing in the water. And so this was what a, a bull shark, you said? Yes, sir. So cool. Stephen, how would you explain that behavior? So, um, on the back of, of outboard motors, they have uh, sacrificial zincs that um, sit there, and they they basically serve to ground the electrical for the boat. And in the process, what you're doing is you're setting up a, a whopping huge electric field in the water. And these sharks are extremely sensitive to weak electric fields. They have what are called the ampullae of Lorenzini, electroreceptors distributed over the surface of the head. And what they do is they use those to detect the uh, natural bioelectric fields of potential prey items. And so they're cued to bite at electric stimuli. And so I think what you're seeing here is uh, an extremely aggressive reaction, mind you, 
uh, to this uh, electric field that's produced by your uh, the, the zincs on your motor, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just going nuts for it and, and biting at that, uh, that uh, why, left motor. Why would he attack the trim tabs on the boat? They're metal. He would attack the trim tabs because they're metal. You've got this galvanic reaction between dissimilar metals in the water. You've got the zinc and you've got the stain, probably stainless steel trim tabs. Yes. And you're setting up a galvanic reaction between them, which sets up this electric field. And that's uh, what the shark is biting at. So do you think the shark showed any sort of aggressive behavior that was maybe like, you know, because you see the shark was peaceful, right? He was just swimming. And then once the boat crossed him, he just went on this like crazy rampage. Do you think it was the engines or do you think he was, do you think it's because Carl disturbed him? Uh, you know, it's hard to say exactly what goes on in the mind of the shark, why he actually uh, tripped out in that, in that sense. But definitely the, the very targeted reaction at the uh, the base of the uh, the motors is most likely due to the the electric field there. He didn't bite anywhere else in the fiberglass boat. Um, it was hitting the uh, the zincs in particular, and I'm guessing that's probably what it was. It's never happened before. We've yeah. had them take. You know, usually, when you're in gear, uh -huh. they'll bite the, the propeller. The prop, right? But we've never right. actually had them bite where this fish bit. And if you see on the boat, we can go over there and look. Yeah, I'd love to see where it. Where he bit is mid motor. Yeah. Okay. So it wasn't like. The zincs are on the bottom of the motor. I understand what you're saying. Right. And I, I, that is 100% true. I've heard that before. Yeah. Um, but I'm just wondering why maybe he came back at the boat and kept hitting yeah. the same spot. And you'll look on my motor where he ate them, where he actually bit. <laughs> it's not on the prop. It's Rich not. Is mid the up, trim yeah. tab, I think, was because his big body was in the way. Right. He knocked it down. Right. But I, re I really believe that this fish was mad at the boat. I think that we, <laughs> we f***ed him all. Cool. Let's go look at your boat. I'd love to see it. Awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. what do you think, Steven? It's pretty impressive, but uh, you know, big sharks, big jaws, they can do a lot of damage. But to, uh, to break that off completely like that, that's a big chunk of plastic uh, gone. And, and then, then the tooth marks, have you seen the tooth marks on this side too? Right here, look at this. Come on over here, this is really neat. Look at this, Josh. Oh my gosh. Look at, look at these teeth marks. So, I mean, one of the things that you could do that's very easy to do is take this, uh, this distance, the inner tooth uh, interval here, and you could measure that and you could reference that to a, a publication which came out several years ago where they looked at different sizes and different inner tooth intervals and they could uh, get a, an estimate of the length of the animal uh, directly that way. You probably have a good estimate, you saw it right there. But uh, without that, you'd be able to just look at this and say, oh, based on this distance yeah. and knowing what it was, it was probably to, to X me, meters was, long. To me, he was uh, 10 feet long. Yeah, okay. And he was over 500 pounds. He was yeah. so round and gigantic. Right, big, strong, powerful bull shark. Giant. Yeah, yeah. Big mouth on him, too. Yeah. He could really just. Bull sharks know, to me are the, are the smartest sharks in the ocean. We never have problems with hammerheads eating our fish. It's always the bull shark. He just waits under the boat and he knows. And he, they really do. It's unbelievable. So amazing. Have you ever seen anything like this before, Stephen? Uh, I've seen bites before. I haven't seen them this high before. They're typically down here. So when they're when they're biting, they're typically hitting the props, the zincs, you know, things like that. I haven't seen them hitting this high. But again, it's a big shark, and it doesn't take much for it to you know move its jaw this way. And all it would take uh, for him to do is catch in the uh, in the, the plastic here somewhere. And with those jaws and that much mass, that much muscle, you can basically just break it off. And I think that's probably what happened here. Have you ever seen that behavior before with the shark being that aggressive towards a boat? This was a really aggressive bite at that shark. I haven't seen anything quite that, uh, that aggressive. Mind you, I only saw that video for a few seconds, but uh, you know, it'd be great to see that on a big monitor and actually take another close look at that. Yeah, absolutely. It'd be interesting. Do, do you think if a diver, if someone was shooting the Kobe off that particular bull shark and he had that same behavior, think he would, he would have attacked the person? You know, it's hard to say whether the shark would also attack a person in the same way that they attacked the, uh, the motor here, but if they did, that person would be very sad right now. Uh, that's some significant damage that this, uh, that this shark has done. Sucks for your motor, though. Sorry about that, pal. No, it's... <laughs> it comes with Which you have a great story. How, how, how deep are those? How, how deep are these things, dude? Yeah, look at that. Why would the screw come out? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a good cut. That's a big shark, too. Yeah, look at Yeah, that, that gap is a big gap between those two teeth. Imagine this shark attacking a diver. Done. Oh yeah, you're gone. What do you think, Stephen? Let me ask you an honest question. Oh, it's broken up there too. Where's it broken at? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. You know, because I mean, you're pushing. I mean, this is just plastic. I mean, it doesn't take much to break it. But think about how big he was. Yeah, to do that. So his jaw. Did his jaws come on either side like this? It or looks like it. It's hard to tell, right? Because how yeah. could he be just got that? His head yeah. can't really fit in here. Yeah. I mean, he didn't really hit this motor. 
Oh yeah, why would you go over this one over, over the other one? Just, just it, it, it's a random thing. Yeah, I just you know, have 50-50 chance of hitting one or the other. So uh, I don't think it's any more. I mean, they're twins. They're exactly the same. So there's really no reason to uh, preference one or the other. But uh, if you, do, you, do you happen to have this piece or is this gone? It's gone. It's gone. I didn't, even, I didn't know he did this to my boat. I thought literally he was biting down here because we right. have seen that before. Right. But I've never seen them attack and come back and back. Usually when they yeah. bite this, they're like, they spit go that off. out and say, I'm not going to do that yeah, again. Like, yeah. But this thing came back like, I want more. I want more. Let's see what he's looking. He attacked the boat, I think, seven times. Yes, and he shook the boat like, oh, yeah. like a bag of popcorn. Wow. Ooh, I was like, Dad, what are you hitting a reef? He goes, what are you talking about? There's a shark attacking me. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get the cobia. Yeah. But Because I didn't think this was happening. Sure, sure. It'd be really interesting to get this if we had gotten this other piece to look at the tooth marks on this side yeah. um, to see what was uh, also what was in the video, going on. Also in the video, maybe you can see on a big screen if you actually ate ate the piece or if yeah. it falls to the bottom, if you could see it. Right. I think I saw your piece floating on the drone later. Okay, well that's good. That's yeah. also good footage to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like at the end of the video, show that floating off. Floating away. Yeah, like, <laughs> there goes Slop City's motor. I've been around a lot of sharks and seen a lot of unique behavior, but I've never, ever seen a shark behave like this before. This was totally insane. Bull sharks are aggressive, but I never knew they were this aggressive. A four to 500 pound shark attacking a 10,000 pound, 31 foot boat, just mind blowing, totally insane. This is a new style of video, guys, so let me know if you like this. Just write a comment below, tell us, yeah, I liked it, you know, whatever. And also make sure you guys check out our Black Tip H Frog Togs gear. We got apparel and we got rain suits. Link is in the description. If you're a Black Tip H fan, you guys are gonna love this gear. Check it out. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time.